All right, guys, so this is the pedal board that I was uh, mentioning earlier in the other video. Um, the pedals um, have not yet been attached to the board itself, so I've just put them on here to kind of show or align them to where I maybe want them to be when I have the opportunity to to uh, stick them to the pedal board here. So. Basically, I'm thinking that this is going to be the setup here, and um, it's going to be like this. I have this radial Big Shot I.O. instrument switcher, which also has a tuner out, so that's pretty handy. Um, so I have my guitar 1, guitar 2 going in up here, then I'll have the output from this one going into the OD3, and from the OD3 into the input on the GT1 here and then running the GT1 out in stereo into um, a Radio Pro D2 stereo DI box that I have attached right here under the board alongside with the uh, power supply. Then I'm just going to connect the tuner out to the um, to the polytune over here and um, this Radio Big Shot uh, instrument switcher has a nice feature where I can either uh, use the mute button right here um, to tune if I uh, decide to set the dip switch over here to um, to mute, or I can just run it on, which means that the tuner will will be on uh, all the time, and I can just I can just tune whenever I um, whenever I want, of course, without um, anyone noticing it. So that's going to be a, a cool feature. And that's also why the tuner is kind of placed over here. Um, then I have the um, Boss FS7 dual foot switch. Which I'm just connecting to the um, to the GT1 here to uh, to get the most out of the assigns and the controls because on board I only have this one control uh, switch and I need a few more to uh, to assign some stuff uh, for a couple of songs so it's a compact size and it it, it fits the board so that's just great um, generally I would maybe have added another overdrive or something like that um, but if I'm going to do that then I'll have to need sorry then I'll have to get um, a looper or something like that a two, uh, two channel looper um, just to keep the the overall chain clean here so I don't get uh, mixed signals um, but for now when I'm only using this OD3 as the only external um, overdrive I don't see that as a problem, so that should be just fine. Um, let me just take the pedals out of the way here, so I can show you how I've mounted the um, the DI and the um, power supply. Also, I've just I've drilled out the holes for the um, for the power plugs, which was easy peasy. So. No biggie there, and I've just drilled another one for the uh, power plug for the GT100 because that has to be sorry, not GT100, but the GT1, and um, that has to be connected to a wall, uh, wall ward socket or something like that. So I can't just plug that into my uh, power supply, but that's no problem. Um, it's going to be fine anyway. Um, yeah, let me just turn it around here so you can see what I've done. Okay, so right here on the bottom, you can see that I've actually, I bought this uh, radial J-clamp, um, which fits the bigger sized DIs and, and all sorts of radial uh, gear. Uh, you can also get one called the P-clamp, which is for the smaller radial sized uh, DIs. I just mounted that to the bottom here. and. Um, I've drilled two holes over here, um, which the XLR uh, connectors can be fed into, and then out to the um, to the patch box or the um, the snake PA whatever. Um, and then uh, over here, I have the quarter inch inputs from the uh, GT1 um, and the power supply. I've just drilled a little hole over here to um, to feed the the power. Um, cable just to make it all neat and 
and smooth. Um, and this power supply is a Palmer PWT05 Mark II. Um, it's an isolated power supply, so there should be no hum or um, anything associated with running in another isolated um, power supply. And then I've just add some zip ties here and to just make um, the cables run or sit nicer so I don't have a big mess running under the, the board here. <clears throat> when I when I'm going to to stick the, the pedals to the to the board here I'm going to use some 3M um, dual sided velcro which is a, a very hard and sturdy vel uh, velcro um, and um, when I've placed the pedals, I'm going to drill the holes for the um, quarter inch jack plugs so I can kind of run um, mostly all of the uh, jack cables under here and then just tie them together with these cable ties um, just to make it even more neat. Um, I don't like to have all that uh, cable mess running. Um, above the board. So being able to have it under the board is just much easier and you don't have to worry about cables being ripped out or plucked out or anything. They should be should be sitting nice and, and tight under there. <clears throat> so um, that's what I've been doing um, and uh, I've also added some rubber feet up here just to make it a bit more sturdy. So um, I'll shoot a little video next time where I um, where I stick the pedals to the board and uh, drill out the holes for the XLRs and and the jacks and um, I might have to solder some new patch cables so that's going to be fun. Um, otherwise, then um, stay tuned. More to come. So bye for now, guys.